Okay, I think the top of the American League Central is going to be very fascinating in 2021. Obviously, the White Sox, they figure to be very good. And look at what the Minnesota Twins have done this offseason. Maybe not the splash that the White Sox have done, but getting Alex Colome to, to, to man the back end of that bullpen, that's big. Andrelton Simmons can help defensively. And then Nelson Cruz, one year, $13 million. All right, we're going to talk with the Twins insider in just a moment. But let's talk about the rotation. Dan Plesak. Where are you on the Twins rotation right now? I'm, I'm a little bit more bullish on the rotation than I think a lot of people are because okay. one of the big reasons why Kenta Maeda, I know there were a lot of concerns where National League, big ballpark, Dodger Stadium, I want to see it in the American League. He had a year for the ages. How about, how about a whip of 0.75? That was his whip. And he added another thing to his arsenal. I thought at times with the Dodgers, he was a little bit reluctant to go to the fastball. He started to throw that four-seam fastball up in the zone. We saw little snippets of it when he went to the bullpen, and he handled that well with the Dodgers. But he used that four-seam fastball up in the zone, that changeup slash split finger that he has. It almost looks like a screwball. It's so good. So he gets your eye level looking for the ball up. There you see Carlos Santana. And it's hard to stay back. And then on top of it, he had great command of the slider. 66 and two-thirds innings. Only 40 hits allowed. This is what kind of blew me away. 66 and two-thirds, 80 strikeouts, and only 10 walks. So he was hard to hit. He threw the ball over the plate, and he didn't walk very many. That, to me, spells a really good pitcher. Yeah, I mean, I, I go, keep going back to the Dodgers. They they lost Maeda and Yunjin Ryu. Both were finalists. And they still won it all, right? <laughs> Both were finalists for the Cy Young in the American League, and they still won it all. One guy that I've liked for years now, for a couple of years now, and, and you're, you're always hoping that he can take that next step, and that's Jose Barrios. Yeah, I've loved him from the very beginning. Of course, he was wild, and he struggled with command. That was the only thing that kept him back. And he's getting better and better every year, in my opinion, with the feel for pitching. His, he's got a, a unique motion, but his stuff, no one's going to question his stuff. It's can he locate it in that fastball? If he pitches up in the zone and he's got the complimentary pitches to make you absolutely look ridiculous. And this changeup that we're going to see next is way better than when he first broke in. And he can throw it to right and left handers. But his signature pitch, basically Burt Bly Levin and let's just say, uh, the curveball is the best in the game that I've seen. I mean, it reminds me of Kerry Wood and, and some of the mannerisms that he pitches with with Kerry Wood. And he now is an established pitcher that can take the ball and not have any limits on him, right? The only thing I would say about Maeda is he's yet to really pitch that deep year. Yeah. in the innings aspect. So we'll see how that matures out. And I think that's the difference that I have for when you look at teams that go on to win, rarely, rarely, and if ever, do we see a young pitching staff, with the exception of the New York Mets in 2015, that their, their limits on innings pitch, you've got to be able to pitch deep in the game. And I think to what Dan said, this year is going to be more important than ever is going to be, I think, a resurgence back to the starting pitcher. Because if it isn't, then you're asking a lot of guys in a commodity that has already come down with a ton of injuries. The bullpen can't carry that many innings. You're coming off of eight innings, some bullpen guys threw, nine innings last year, and expect them to throw 70 and 75. So it's going to fall upon, I think, the starters to carry more of the load. And think about this too, Robert. All those teams are worrying about depth. There were no minor league baseball last year. So all those younger pitchers that you're thinking are on the verge of helping your big league team, a lot of those guys, unknown quantities right now because they didn't get a chance to pitch competitively in 2020.